Well, we're going to have some fun now. We're going to try and paint some of this blackthorn blossom and some of this peach blossom together. And I'm going to use a, a technique, an experimental one, where we're going to splatter the paint. I'm going to put wet into wet acrylic ink first. And while it's still fairly wet, start splattering in the white and the background pinks. And then at the very end, come in with my Chinese brush and try and paint some petals. Now we're going to use two Chinese brushes in fact on this. We're going to use both the hake for wetting the background and doing the wet into wet background. And then this one for doing this uh, round Chinese brush for doing the uh, petals. And I'm also going to use this brush which is a bit stiffer for doing some of the splattering. Uh, once I've got that done, the paint I'm going to use. There's my acrylic inks ready and some water and a little tube of gesso which I'm going to use for mixing the white. Try the gesso out on this. So straight in then with water, clean water. All the way across it. Plenty of water though because I do want some lovely wet into wet effects. And again we're going to drop in the light colours first. Even so because there are some nice little celandines at the bottom of this picture. We're going to only, we're doing a very sort of abstract painting with this. We're not uh, copying anything. We're just using what is here. We're abstracting from. Remember that the word to abstract means to take, yeah. to take from. So I'm going to start off then with this smaller brush and just drop in some of these celandines all around down here. Let them spread out. Don't okay. give that to my hake and we'll start putting in the uh, light greens around them that are catching the sunlight here. We're using quite strong, vibrant but uh, dark colours so that the white paint that I'm going to splatter on later will show up. Deep green to here. To go much darker than this yet. You can see how dark I'm going to go. So it's lovely wet into wet effects. Fairly quickly into this if I want to uh, keep wet into wet effects going. I'm going to get some very deep blues going on before I put any blacks in. Let's get the leaf and the darks in between these leaves. Yes, just you know, I'm twisting the brush to get these dark effects of shadows between leaves down here.
And I think we're just about there, you know. We'll have a few shadows, few little dark shadows happening back in there with the black. Just to make it stand out a little more amongst these flowers. Dark down into here. There we are. That'll do us. A little abstract flower painting using the splash technique.